Good evening, Eliseo. How are you? Hi, teacher. Welcome. Fine, back. thank you. And you? Okay, I'm great. Thanks. Uh, it's nice to see you back. Okay, tell me thank how you. was your vacation? ¿Cómo estuvo la it, was, it was great because uh, I enjoyed a lot with my family. Oh, with my that's daughter. Great. Yes. Okay. You had a family to, time. Yes. Okay. We went to the lake of Suchitlan. I don't know if you know. In, in Guatemala, Suchitlan? No, in Suchitoto. Ah, Suchitoto Lake. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes, I've been there a couple of, uh, of times. Did you enjoy the swimming pool? Yes, of course, because. Um, I was with, we, we were a lot of people because uh, some friend of my, of my wife's family uh, were with, with us. So it was like a tour? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's great. And did you, did you, did you, did you go uh, to Chalatenango by ferry? Yes, yes. <laughs> We went uh, in the the ferry. The name is La Luna. <laughs> okay, excellent. And also, I have heard that now they have uh, extreme sports too, right? Yes. Okay. And and, uh, and the in the beginning, I was I was afraid. I I had afraid because I I never. Uh, uh, you have it? never tried the, the extreme sports before. Yeah. yeah oh, never. Okay. But you did it. Yeah, yes. And but my my daughter. But your heart, your heart was like this, beating boom boom. Yes. Boom. And <laughs> my daughter uh, laughed. Uh, okay, because, was laughing at you. <laughs> yes, because uh, she yes uh, reading. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Ya había, ya se había subido en una... She had already uh -huh, uh, practiced those extreme sports, but you yeah. never had that chance. I never, before. because when, when, they, when they went uh, to the lake, I was working. Oh, before. that is why. Okay, she took advantage. Yes. Yeah, uh huh. So that's nice. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, it is a nice experience, right? And they have improved the attractions that they yes. have in the, in the in the lake. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I am happy for you. Do you when ah. did, did you went to the did you go to the beach? No, I didn't go to the beach. I traveled with my family to Guatemala. Mm -hmm. okay. And yeah, we had a nice family time too. Yeah. And it was amazing because my son enjoyed a lot. Yeah, Your you know, when, yeah. When you when you when you have children, okay, uh, boys yeah. or girls, what you want to be is the happy face of your children, right? Yes, and that they are how, enjoying. How many children do you have? Oh, I just have one, mm -hmm. one oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, it's and now a, a, a boy, a boy. He's a teen, he's a teenager. Mm -hmm. uh, he yeah. has just, uh -huh, he's a teenager, he just turned 14. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, okay. that's excellent. Yeah, he loves stream sports. Yeah, <laughs> and I say, oh my God, I, 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 I will never do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't wanna try that. It is kind of a scary, that. scary to me. Yeah, yeah. but you that know. Gives me the, the water. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jocelyn, Gabriela, welcome. Nice Hello. to have you back. Hello. Welcome Hi, back, Miss. Yeah, Jocelyn is here. How was your vacation, Jocelyn? Um, very good, teacher. Um, solamente estuve aquí en mi casa descansando. Ah, you stayed home and relaxed. Okay. That's yes. great to, to have time for you and to relax, right? 
Okay, so congratulations. And now we're going to go over the class while the others join, okay? I expect that we're going to have a good connectivity because in some places it is raining. Right now here it is raining. If you see my computer, you see the rain, rain. Even internet is telling us that it is raining in my neighborhood. Okay, so right now I'm going guys to start after the greeting, okay, I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you so we can have a, an idea of what we're going to be working with today. And we are about to, to finish, right? So we need to speed up with the activities. And I expect that you have almost finished your activities in the platform, yes? Yes. Okay, so here today is our session number 13. So only three more classes. We are going to be finishing the class on Thursday, hopefully. Okay, and uh, we have here the objective for today. So I'm going to ask one of you to help me reading the objective for the class, okay? Who wants to try helping me reading in English the objective for today's lesson? Only one. Eliseo, Jocelyn, or uh, Henry. Okay. Welcome, Henry. Okay, in Eliseo. This, in this section, you will listen to a dialogue, dialogue. where two people use the modifier with participles and preposition. Excellent. Very well. And here you have the translation into Spanish in order to avoid any misunderstanding. And here we have the topic for today, modifiers with participles and prepositions. So that is why the objective, the goal is that you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Okay. So uh, right now we're going to get started and tell me if you have any question about the activities in the platform, let me know, please, okay? Because remember that the last day we were together in class, we were solving some situations. Welcome, Dennis, Claudia, Henry, Jocelyn, and Eliseo. All of you are really welcome to the class, okay? It is a pleasure to have you here. So right now we're going to start. And here we go. Okay, let's see. And here in this session, participants will listen to description of five people in order to develop. Um, okay, uh, participants listening skill. So we're going to have this listening practice before we go over, okay? Because it is a feedback. If you remember, okay, we did this before vacations. Do you remember? So, I'm going to play it for you so you can develop it. And later we continue, okay, with our topic. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe. Do you listen to the audio? Yes? Yes? yes. yes? Okay, yes. here we go. People. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, so the interesting part in this activity is that you develop your listening skill, right? And we did it. And if you remember class, you were practicing describing your partners, yes? And then we moved to uh, two people describing other persons. So we listen to the conversation too. If you remember about the new girl. The new girlfriend. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. 
Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, if you remember class, you were practicing also this conversation, right? And now we move to, uh, in this session, you will learn to describe and uh, how to describe and ask questions about appearance. And also you practice this. And here, okay, if you notice, we'll also Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. And here's, uh, if you remember, we have a situation with the pronunciation of her, her, okay? the same pronunciation, no problem. And we did the knowledge check, if you remember, right? So we did it already. And also this listening exercise. Did we finish it? Yes or no? Did you? Hello class, yes. are you done with this listening exercise? Yes, yes. about yes. age? Okay, great, excellent. Now it's time to move to the next one, okay? Here, I think, I expect that you have gone over this knowledge check. Did you do it? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes you did it? Excellent, congratulations. Okay, let's expect that everything is going to be here. So in this session, you will learn about the present perfect. We're going to skip it because you already did the, um, our objective. So we're going to move to uh, the present perfect tense. And I have a question for you guys. <clears throat> Does anybody uh, know the difference between, the difference between the simple past and the present perfect? What is the difference? Hello, does anybody know the difference between the present perfect and the simple past? Who knows the difference? Who remembers the difference? Does anybody know? <clears throat> okay, here we go. I need you to pay close attention to this. Then, um, simple past tense equals an action <clears throat> um, we an action that is over. It is finished. Yes, that is the main characteristic for the simple past tense, but for the present perfect tense, present perfect tense, okay? 
it has a connection with the past tense. Okay, it began in the past, but it may continue at the present. Yeah. Okay, so this is the big difference. And how do we know that we're going to use the simple past or the past tense? How do you notice the difference? For example, if you say, I uh, went to bed very late last night. That expression, last night, gives you the idea that the action is over because it was last night, not tonight, not today, okay? Or if you say, um, I graduated in 2020, to tell you an example, I graduated in 2020. You have that period of time, so it means that the action is over. The action finished. It is not, uh, you are not uh, studying anymore in high school. Why? Because you already graduated, yeah? So that is the big difference. And right now here, we're going to continue, okay? with the activity and we're going to practice this conversation a visit to new orleans and here we go okay let's listen to this conversation because later we're going to practice it so here we go and enjoy your food by the way welcome to section 10. in this lesson we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in new orleans See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, class. So here we go. Let's see. Do you want me to play it one more time? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, because you're going to practice later on. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Once again, we're going to listen to the conversation. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing it. And here, I'm going to share it with you. Okay, and we're going to practice it. Okay, this is the one that we was about ing and here we go this is the one it's great to see you Todd. have you been in new orleans long just a few days i'm really excited to be here 
I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Mm. Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. When you go to a place in order to know everything that that place that place can offer you or any attraction you in the end you feel really tired right and we say my feet are killing me so i need to volunteers in order to practice this conversation who wants to try uh to read charm and who wants to try to read talk to volunteers please nico okay eliseo you're going to read talk and who's going to help us reading, John? Hello. I need another volunteer to read, John. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. I really appreciate your participation, okay? So you begin, Jocelyn. Okay. It's great to see you, Doug. Have you been Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a club yet? Yeah, I have really been to one. Oh well. How about a rival boat tour? Ooh, I have really done that too. Have to read it in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Very well, excellent. I want you to pay attention to the present perfect and was present perfect tense questions. Have you been in New Orleans long? We have have the subject pronoun and the verb in past participle. Have you been in New Orleans long? Okay, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been in a jazz club yet? Again, have you? Because it is you, we use have, okay? Have you been to a chess club yet? Yeah, I've, I've, it is the contraction of I have, I've, I've already, you joined the words, I've already, I've already, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat, a riverboater, a riverboater? Oh, I've already done that too. I've already done that too. Notice that we have, I have already done that too. Eso ya lo he hecho también, ya lo hice, okay? So already and yet have the same meaning, but the position is the difference, okay? Have you written, have you written in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun, actually. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. If you say, uh, what uh, did you do on vacations? I just took it easy at home, okay? It means that there was no problem, relax, and you were just enjoying yourself and your uh, calm uh, environment at home. So now we're going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms, but you're going to switch. 
the names. Why? You're not going to read Jan. You're not going to say, it's great to see you, Tal. You're going to say, for example, it's great to see you, Adan. Uh, and then you say, it's great to see you, Henry, or it's great to see you, Claudia, or the other partner that you are going to be practicing the conversation with, okay? Do you have any question about the practice? No questions? No, sir. Okay. And you have uh, the conversation or do you want me to share it by WhatsApp? The slide? Okay, I'm going to share it with you, class. And here we go. Here. Uh, this is the one. Yeah. And here. Here. Okay, there you are. You have it via WhatsApp, okay? And now we're going to move. Try to practice as much as possible, okay? Pronunciation is really important. And practice makes perfect. So don't feel shy to make any mistake. Hmm. Okay, uh, Claudia is having problems with her connectivity. So she is coming and so I'm going to create two groups in one. Uh, we're going to have three students and in the other one, other two students. If Claudia or somebody else joins the class, I'm going to uh, join him or her to the other team, okay? So right now I'm going to open all the rooms and here we go. Okay. Go to your groups, please. If you are so nice, guys, go to your groups and begin the practice, please. Okay, thank you Eliseo, because you are in group number one. Denise, excellent, you are in group number two. I need Henry in group number one, because Jocelyn and Eliseo are waiting for you. Mr. Adam Palacios, I need you in group number two, if you are so nice, please. Henry, move to your group, Adan. Okay, Dennis is waiting for you in group number two. Henry, we need you in group number one. Okay, Adan, please join group number two if you are so nice. Um, send you in the uh, classroom. No recibirla. No se fijo, porque si todos están y ustedes están en el grupo. Vaya, le, lo voy a mover hacia el grupo número uno y luego lo envío al grupo número dos, ¿ok? De regreso. Ok. Ok. okay. Pero fíjese en la invitación. Hello, Dennis. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, and Adan is supposed to be here with you, but I'm going to bring him back because he said he didn't notice the invitation. So I am bringing him back here, okay? So you can practice with him because we need two people to practice. Okay, he's joining right now, I think. Yeah, he's here. Okay. Uh, if you want to share the screen, feel free to do it, okay? Or if you want to, okay? Or if you want to read it from your WhatsApp, feel free to do it, no problem. Let's begin with the practice. I would like to listen to you guys, okay? Is anybody going to share or do you want me to share it for you? 
Okay, guys, I'm going to share it for you. So here we go. Remember that you're going to change the names, okay? Okay, here we are. Let's begin. Dennis, you begin. You're going to read Jan. So you're not going to say, it's great to see you, Tal. No, you're going to say, it's great to see you, Adan. Okay. Have you been in New Orleans long? Okay, let's begin. Uh, I think you are having problems with your microphone, Denise, because we don't listen clearly. I'm listening. Okay, now we listen to you perfectly. Okay. Okay, begin. It's great to see you to have you been in New Orleans long? Adam? Yes. yes. I already. Yes. Yes. I already been through here. I can what to show you the city. Have you been to just look yet? Yeah, I I've already been to one. Oh well, how about our river two? River boat. River boat. Oh, oh. oh I, I already don't have two. How would you read in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's show I go to I go here today. Where is there anything you want to do? You know, I really want to check. Now let's switch. Okay, Adan, you begin. Okay. It's great to see you, uh, Dennis. Have you been in New York, New Orleans long? Just a few days, I am really excited to be here. I can't show you how to get to that look here. Yeah, I be uh, really been to one. Oh, oh, I I be really done that too. Ready? That's how I go go ahead today. What is there anything you want to do? 
you can now I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, but remember, guys, you have to say, for example, I really just want to take it easy. Take it easy. One expression together. Take it easy. Okay, to take it easy. To take it easy. And another one here. I've already, I've already, I've already, I've, I've already, I've already been to one, okay? Have you been to? I've already been to, repeat. I've already been to one. I've already been to one, to one. I've already been to one. Now, have you been, and the question when you ask, have you been to? Have you been to together? Have you been in? No. Have you been to? No. Have you been to? Have you been in? Okay. That is the, the idea to sound kind of natural. Okay. Have you been in? Have you been to? Okay. Uh oh. Okay, thank you so much. So I cordially invite you guys to practice one more time, the two of you, and I'm going to visit the other group, okay? Practice one more time and then we get back, okay? Okay. Okay. Ready to... Well, how about the riverboat too? Uh, I have already done that too. Are you riding in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take you easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Ahora con Henry. Ahora empiezo yo. ¿Con quién? ¿Con quién? Ok, si quieres practiquemos, Henry. Sí, va, está bien. Empiezo en casa. Dale. This is great to see you. So, have you been a new order slum? A few days. I am really excited to be here. I come. Why to why to show to the city? Hey, you been to Ayasco here? Yeah, I have really been to one. Oh, well, how about the river to? I have already done that too. Hey, you in in a structure? They, they're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Finish coach. Okay, great. It is nice to hear that. Remember that you have to say, have you been in? Have you been in? Have you been to? Okay, the expression is together. Have you been to? Have you been in? And um, the other one at the end when Todd says, you know, I really just want to, want to take it easy. To take it easy is one expression. It is um, a phrase given. So you don't say to take it easy. No, you read it at once. To take it easy, okay? To take it easy. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me, okay? Very well, and now let's get back then. 
okay? To the uh, main session room, thank you for your practice. Now I'm going to close it and let's get back. Okay. And right now we're going to continue while the others get back. I'm going to be updating over here. Okay. So we move over here. And now we're going to uh, watch a video. Uh, and we're going to pay attention to the present perfect tense with already and yet. Remember that we use the past participle of the verbs in order to practice the present perfect tense. So let's pay attention to this because later on you're going to you are going to be asking and answering some questions. Here we go. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect, already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Rep okay, pay close attention to this, guys. When we make a reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. Probably I am saying this expression uh, on Thursday or Friday. The week is not finished yet. It has rained a lot this year. I could say that, you could say that. And we are in August, but we can say it has rained a lot this year. So it is not simple past. It is present perfect tense. The action began in the past, but it is still taking place at the moment. We haven't seen her today, maybe in the evening or at night. And then we continue with the explanation. For repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. Notice this, they have seen that film six times, yes? How many times have they seen that film? Six times. Maybe they are they love it. So they are going to continue okay, seeing that film more times. So it is not finished. That's why we use the present perfect tense. And we have eaten 
at that restaurant many times. Why? Because we love that food. So maybe in the future, we're going to continue visiting that restaurant because we love to eat there. Notice that here we have seen eaten. The past participle seen, see, so seen. Eat, ate, eaten. We have simple present, simple past, past participle. That is the one that we use to construct the present perfect tense. In this case, worked, rained, both of them are regular verbs, but even though you see ed, they are not used in the, in the simple past. This is the past participle, okay? Now let's finish listening. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Okay, notice this. Already and yet. Same meaning, but the position is what makes the difference. Already usually goes after have or has. Let's remember that we use has, he, she, it for third person singular and have for all the other subject pronouns. So the intention here is to make you pay close attention that you use already uh, after have or has and before, before the main verb, because if we analyze with, we have, okay? Already had, had is the main verb of the sentence because it is the past participle, but we have in this case, have is the moral auxiliary that we use to construct the present perfect tense. The principal or the main verb is have, okay? Have, had, have, yeah? When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it, okay? Already, yes? Y en español quiere decir, pero, pero ya lo mismo. hice, ya lo hice, pero si yo ya lo hice, okay? Entonces, okay. already and yet, they have the same meaning. Have you, have you seen the video yet? Yes, I've already seen it. ¿Ya vieron el video? Sí, ya lo vimos. Pero de acuerdo a la posición, es que vamos a utilizar la palabra yet or already. Okay, so we use already when we use it before the main verb. Cuando lo utilizamos antes del verbo principal, no vamos a decir yet, vamos a decir already. Okay, usamos already. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, and now let's continue. Right. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. And this is what I was telling you. The position, yet. The meaning is that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence, yes? yes. Has the post arrived yet? No, it hasn't, or yes, it has already arrived. You don't say, yes, it has yet arrived. No, that is not correct. You say, yes, it has already arrived, yeah? Have you done your homework? Not yet. In this case, it goes at the end. But if it is affirmative, yes, I've, or I have already done it, yeah? That's why in the previous one, we didn't use yet because it is not at the end. But in this case, in the negative, we use yet because it goes at the end of the sentence of the answer. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time, okay? Haven't you got ready yet? Uh, no se han alistado, no se han preparado todavía. Look at the time, okay? And here for questions, usually we use yet, okay? And when it goes at the end, as in this negative answer, we use yet. Okay, any other questions so far? Alguna otra pregunta? Okay, let's continue because no. later you're going to practice. Okay. Examples, 
Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay, and this is the one. And right now we're going to practice these structures, okay? And I'm going to share with you okay, over here, because I have this set of questions that I want to, okay? Uh, writing and speaking time. Have you read the newspaper? Has he drunk coffee? Have they arrived to the airport? Have you finished your report? Yes, I have or no, I have, okay? Uh, have you written the letter? Have you phoned the client? Have they traveled to the beach yet? Has she watched the news yet? Have you heard the song yet? Have you been to the mall lately? Okay. So I'm going to share with you this. Okay. And hmm. okay, this is what I'm going to share with you via WhatsApp so you can answer. You know, lately, ultimamente, recientemente, okay? And here we go. So you're going to give your answers. Because if, for example, if I say, okay, over here, let's see. Uh, this is what uh, you were listening to, okay, to the explanation. And here, if I say, for example, um, Miss Jocelyn, have you read the newspaper? Have you read the newspaper? Affirmative or negative? No. No, I? No, I haven't. Haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. Or if it is affirmative, yes, I have. Because from number one, to number six are simple present simple sentences in present perfect tense because you don't have the word yet yeah but if for example in number seven if i say uh eliseo eliseo have they traveled to the beach yet no yet Ah, not yet, okay, good. But if uh, it is affirmative, have they traveled to the beach yet? Yes, they have already traveled to the beach. Yes, they have already traveled to the beach, okay? And notice this, travel with two letters L, because in British English, they uh, spell it like this, but in American English with only one L, okay? And I wanted you to, Pay attention to this. If once you see in a book travel with two letters L, it's correct, but it is British English, okay? So you're going to be practicing answering these questions in the breakout rooms, okay? Here we go. Do you have any questions so far? Mm. Okay, ask me. So have you heard the song yet? Number yes, eight. number eight. Has she watched the news yet? Yes, she has already watched the news yet. Or no, she hasn't watched the news yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, she has already watched the news. Okay, now let's move to the breakout rooms under this range, but I'm going to recreate because I have only Dennis in one group. Okay, here we go. Okay. Go to your groups if you are so nice and let's practice. Go to the groups and practice, okay, the last minutes. Uh, Dennis and Jocelyn, please go to group number two. Thank you, Jocelyn. Dennis, I need you in group number one, number two. Thank you.
Okay, class. Who's going to share the screen? No, no puedo compartir. Uh, Henry, can you share the screen? Okay, I'm going to share it for you, okay? Here we go. Right. And you begin asking and answering. Okay, let's begin. Okay, practice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Henry, how do you read the newspaper? No, I, no, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Sería una respuesta corta. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, has you you drink coffee? It? Yes, he has him. No, yes, he has. If it is affirmative, only yes, he has. No, has him. Because has him is negative. And if you say it's yes, negative. you can not. Uh -uh, no, he has. It. Yes, he has. Then negative, yes, he has. Him. No, in negative, no, uh, he hasn't. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, continue. Have they arrived to the airport? No. They haven't delivered the, to, the to the airport yet. No. Listen. Oh, yes, it could be. But when we don't have the word yet here, it's up to you if you want to use yet or not. But when you have it at the end, you have to use it or use already, okay? Continue, please. Okay. Have you finished your report? No, I haven't. Okay. How are you writing the letter? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. They have. Okay. Have you found the client? Oh, I haven't. Okay. Have they traveled to the beach yet? Yes, they have traveled to the beach yet. No, no they, yes, they, they have, they, really they have already traveled, yeah. or yes, they've yeah. already traveled yeah. to the beach. Mm -hmm. yeah. When it is affirmative, remember, uh, yeah. already goes before the main verb. Yes, they have already traveled to the beach, okay? Okay. 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 Has she has she watched the news yet? Yes. She hasn't. No. Yes, she, she has. No puede decir yes, she hasn't, porque no puede decir si sí, ella no las ha visto. Sí. Okay, si es afirmativa, yes, she has, or yes, she has already, or yes, she has already watched the news. If it is negative, no, she hasn't. Or no, she hasn't watched the news yet, okay? Next okay. one. Have you heard the song yet? Yes, I have. I have it. Yes, I have. Okay, have you been to the mail lately? To the mall. No, no, I haven't. Excellent. Now switch. Okay. Liceo, can you read the newspaper? Uh, no, I haven't. Has 
Has he drank? Has he drank coffee? Yes, he has. Hey, they arrived to the airport. Uh, yes, they have. May you finish your report? No, I haven't. Hey, you are getting the letter? Yes, I have. Hey, you phone the clients? Yes, I have. Hey, they travel to the beast yet? Yes, they are really traveled to the beach. That a news yet? No, she hasn't watched it, watched the news yet. Number nine. Hey, you hear the song yet? Yes. Uh, I already heard the song. Have you been to the mall? Lately? Lately? No, I haven't been to the mall lately. To the mall. Okay. Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> okay, now we have only the two of us are here and uh, Okay, the, it is raining very, very, you know, cats and dogs in some places. So I want you to notice this, read, drunk, arrived, finished, written, phoned, traveled, watched, heard, been. It is not read, it is read because it is the first participle. Have you read? Has he drunk? Have they arrived? Have you finished? Have you written? Have you phoned? Have they traveled? Has she watched? Have you heard? Not here, heard, past participle. Have you been? Okay. So okay. tomorrow we're going to continue with the practice. That's why it is very important, the listening practice and the uh, production, okay, speaking. Class, thank you very much. Remember to continue with the work in the platform. I expect that you are about to finish or that you are over, okay, that you finished. Thank you very much for joining. See you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night, sleep well, and see you, okay? Continue working very hard. Congratulations. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Have a good night. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye, bye Eliseo. Bye. Have a good bye. night. Have bye. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye bye, Henry.